in uh, 1999, Norm Balog, the Maryland, president of the Maryland Citizens Defense League, said, guns will get you through times of no governments better than governments will get you through times of no guns. <laughs> Our next speaker is a, an official NRA trainer and instructor, and I don't have a whole lot of information. He was kind of a last uh, second edition, but we're really glad to have him. His name is Chuck Schnelling. Chuck, can you come up? And uh, before I let Chuck take the mic, I know uh, State Representative Lucas would like to say a few words, so we're going to give you that time toward the end of the meeting. Thanks. Thank you, Rick. Okay. It's great to see everybody here this morning. It's an honor to be here. I appreciate Lisa contacting me. I also appreciate all the officers that have spoke before me because you've done most of my work for me. <laughs> uh, as I said, my name is Chuck Snelling. I am an NRA certified firearms instructor. Uh, I'm a past law enforcement officer, was an officer for 15 years, uh, have been handling firearms responsibly for the last 30 plus. Um, I've always had a passion with my firearms and growing up on a farm and when I got out of law enforcement I still wanted to do something that kind of tied me back to it. So I got into the, the firearms training. Um, I am a firm believer in the Second Amendment. I'm also a firm believer, as the other officers have mentioned, about the responsibility that we all have for each other. Um, I feel that it's very important to have the training if you're going to carry the firearm. Um, in our courses, the courses that we offer, we offer the NRA courses for basic pistol, home firearm safety, personal protection in the home and out of the home. Uh, we've also got a custom course of skills that every CCW holder should know. And I'm also an instructor for the Florida permit, the Utah permit, the Arizona permit. Actually, the Utah, I'm flying out there next weekend to get certified as part of their requirements. So I will be teaching all of the, the local permits. Um, with the Utah permit, you pick up six states that aren't covered by Indiana. The Florida, you pick up seven states that aren't covered by Indiana. And the Arizona, you pick up four states that aren't covered by Indiana. However, out of those three, each of them, some of them are duplicates. Some of them cover states that aren't covered by the other permit. Um, I've got more information about that on my website. In the back of the room, there's uh, multiple different brochures that I've brought. Um, the white copy has the Jennings County courses, uh, Jennings Jefferson County courses, which we're teaching at a uh, private range in Comiskey. That's about as close as I can get for you guys, so hopefully you'll take advantage of that. The neon colored brochures are the classes that I offer up in Batesville, Dillsboro, and Friendship area. And then the trifold pamphlets that I have explain the different classes and there's more information on the website about that. Okay, what we specialize in with our classes at Safe Home Firearms Training is we're focusing on the personal protection and the personal defense skills that you need to know. Um, with the classes, they vary uh, between the basic, if you've never shot before, we're going to go through all those basic skills and shooting fundamentals that you need to know, but we're also going to put some real world training in there too. Um, we incorporate a lot of the same things that the law enforcement training incorporates, movement, cover, uh, multiple threats, when to engage, when not to engage. Uh, one thing to remember that hasn't been brought up is that a firearm is a tool of last resort. If you can avoid the confrontation, if you can avoid the situation in any way possible, do that. When, when all else fails and you have no other option, that's when you turn to your firearm. The biggest thing that I see with people as far as their training and carrying a firearm is They'll go to the, say they go to the Utah class. It's a four-hour class. 
most of them are non-shooting however the the instructor does have the discretion to add that portion with their training the people will go home and say hey i've got my permit i've had my class i'm ready to go but they're not properly prepared mentally emotionally or physically for that type of confrontation also what we run into is and, and i cringe every time i hear it you'll hear people oh well i can shoot that pop can over there in the neighbor's yard well that's great and marksmanship is part of it but when you're in that heat of the moment you know life or death situation there's a lot more that you have to consider and those are the things that you'll gain from coming to training with safe home firearms does anybody have any questions Okay, thank you.